Microsoft Designer launched in April to challenge Canva. Let's check out the AI features to see who's gonna win. We covered Microsoft Designer a year ago when it was first announced as an AI-powered Canva killer. But the product went live in GA this past April, so now we can finally take it for a spin to see if these AI features are ready for prime time and ready to replace Canva in your design stack. So here's the start screen for Microsoft Designer, and the AI hits you in the face right off the bat. They're clearly trying to normalize prompting as the starting point for creative work. You can also add an image to your prompt or generate an image using native Dali. And even over here on the right side, it's still pushing you in an AI direction if you're confused by giving you 15 inspo designs to start with. But they don't call them templates, they say try a prompt. And when you click it, you don't get that image, you get the corresponding prompt auto-filled into the box on the left. Again, Microsoft is really trying to drive the behavior change to start any task with AI prompting. So let's try it. So if we pick the first option, you see it populates the prompt in the box on the left. Picnic club, monthly social meetup event, April 2023 in Central Park. So let's generate that. And once you generate, I think two things pop out. First on the right, you see a bunch of variants of the design that it's generated for you. And you also see on the left where it says click to try this suggestion that it takes the prompt we used, but it also adds a bunch more detail after that prompt. And you could try that to see if it's gonna give you something better to work with. We'll check that out in a minute, but for now, let's pick a design. I think one thing is pretty immediately clear to me, which is these are not that great. They look kind of amateurish. They look like they were designed in Microsoft and I am not particularly wowed by these options it generated. But we'll pick one again. We'll just go with the first. We'll customize this design and we'll see what else is available to us. And to me, Microsoft Designer's AI starts with a bang on that first page. But once you get past it, it kind of fizzles out and it's really not that impressive afterwards. But let's look at what they have. So over here on the right, you see ideas, which are more design variants. So it's good that you have more options, but again, mostly not great options, very amateurish, very Microsoft-y. And if we go into the edit menu, starting with text, in the text menu, you see GPT embedded here to generate text using a description. And it gives you some options, a heading, a subheading, all the way down to a long body. You could replace all the text in your design with what it's suggested for you. But let's be honest, this is a very text light design. And so my prompt is way longer than my actual call to action. So I'm not sure that GPT is really needed here. What would probably be more valuable is if you could click on a text box and then instantly get a bunch of variations of that single string of text to see if there's a better way to say what you're trying to say. But they don't have that yet. When you click Inspire Me, it just changes the font. So definitely not AI on that front. Coming over to visuals, there's a bunch of stock imagery to choose from, but you can also generate an image. And this you would actually use. It's pretty cool. It has high novelty factor and reasonable value for the use case of making a design, which is obviously inherently visual. But that's kind of it in terms of AI past the start screen with Microsoft Designer. It's GPT and it's Dolly all over again without really showing us anything new. Okay, so going back a step, let's try this suggested prompt to see if it's any better. And the specificity doesn't really help. It's kind of more of the same generic, not really great designs. But let's try one more prompt. And on this one, we'll use the suggested prompt, but we're gonna generate an image and add that into the prompt to see what it gives us. I mean, the imagery is better, but yet again, sort of a mixed bag on the actual design output. Some better than others. But you can also see that it just took my Dolly image and it used that in the design where the picture would be. So this is definitely not multimodal LLMs. Those have not entered the world yet. That's coming sometime later. Okay, there it is. We hit all the AI features in Microsoft Designer in just a few minutes. So what's my take? I guess A for effort. Microsoft is really leaning into training users on how to start creative work with prompting. And honestly, maybe that's the goal of Microsoft Designer. Maybe they're not trying to kill Canva. Maybe they're just merely trying to showcase an AI powered application and also trying to normalize prompting by introducing users to this app. 
because Microsoft Designer doesn't come across to me like a product that's anywhere close to replacing Canva for a daily design tool. Yes, I do think it could work for some simple design use cases, but it's super feature limited and even the AI features themselves that they advertise don't really show us anything new or novel or radically different that we haven't seen done before with GPT and DALI. Well, that does it for today on the PLG123. Make sure to subscribe for more videos featuring VC perspectives on today's top stories.